Hello everyone and welcome to CWL Builds. Today I'll be showing you how I weather different types of fabric. I'll be going over how I weather fake fur, cotton, and flannel. So let's go over the tools you'll need and I'll see you at the end of the video. Here are the tools I use to distress my fabrics. So first off, a pair of fabric scissors, an X-Acto knife with a very sharp blade, a wire brush, this is just a brush they use for welding, a lighter or a blowtorch, very low grit sandpaper, this is 100 grit, of course the fabric you're going to be weathering, I'll be using this 100% cotton, this flannel, and this fake fur. You'll also need paints. I'll be using these three acrylic paints, black, rust, and brown, but you can use any color that complements the color of your fabric. I'll also be using this rubbing alcohol to thin out the paint so it goes on easier. And finally, an old chip brush to put the paint on. Now, usually when weathering fabric, you want to wait until the entire costume is completed and then weather everything at the end so everything looks natural and like it was all weathered at the same time and not at separate times and separate places. So usually you want to wait. Today, I'm going to be just using a piece of fabric like this and weathering one single edge as this, but this is my entire costume. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edge that I want to weather and I'm going to just bundle it up like this in my hand, just a random pattern. I'm just basically bunching it up so I can hold all one end of fabric in my hands like this. Okay? Then I'm just going to take my scissors and without really trying to cut a straight line, you shouldn't cut a straight line, I'm just going to cut them here and cut off some pieces like that. And there we go, I'm left with a nice tattered edge that looks very unnatural, looks very rough cut. So right now the fabric just looks like it was cut haphazardly with a pair of scissors and that's exactly what happened. So to change that, we're going to be using the wire brush and I'm going to put this down on a piece of wood, drag the wire across it, and this is going to fray the edges and get that cut line not so perfect. Okay, so now that we've wire brushed everything and it has these nice frays in it, we're gonna go to that 100 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna wrap it around a sanding sponge and then we're gonna sand the edges and this is gonna get it even more torn up, especially on the flat parts here. So the next step is to take it and crumple it up into a ball so we're going to get all these nice lines in there and crinkles. So I want some more holes in my fabric, maybe some here and over here. So I'm going to be taking my X-Acto knife and cutting some lines and holes in here and then doing the same weathering with the wire brush and the sandpaper.
Okay, so next step is painting. So I have my plate here. I'm going to put the paints on those. And for this, because it's a darker fabric, I need to use some darker paints. So I'm going to be using blacks and then a little bit of brown and red for some highlight areas. I got my old chip brush. The cheapest are the better because they have these really big bristles and you can lightly go over and get a really nice effect. So let's get started. So the paint has dried, and you can stop here if you want. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to take this torch, and I'm going to torch some areas so it darkens it and chars it. If you're going to do this though, be very careful because this is cotton, it is flammable, and you don't want it to get away from itself and catch on fire. So do this very carefully, and you should probably do it also outside. So here we go. So as you can see, it did sort of get away from me there. That's what you gotta worry about. It just, it chars and it doesn't look like it's burning. But it will, if you blow on it, you'll see the little embers glowing. And I had to actually pad this out. I wet my fingers down with some water and then I was able to pad out the charred embers and such. So be careful of that. But you can see there's a big part here. I did a little bit here, it kinda looks cool. And then a little bit over here as well. But I think that's it for now. On this piece, I'm going to move to the flannel now. Okay, so this is the flannel. And I'm going to be using the same techniques I used on the cotton. So a lot of this will just be in fast forward. So because this is black, black paint really isn't going to come up on it. So I'm going to be using more of these browns and reds on it. So I'm going to be working on the fur now. So the first thing you want to do when you're working with fake fur or anything with long strands is find out which way the hair naturally wants to go. And in my case, it wants to go this way. If I want to rub my hand along this way, the fur stays flat. If I want to rub it along this way, it gets all messed up. So find which direction the hair naturally wants to go. Make sure the hair is all facing that direction. Now I'm going to be using this bottom edge and this will be the edge that will be weathered and cut. So I'm going to flip it over and use this edge 
to weather. A tip with cutting fur. If you've ever cut fur before with scissors, you know it gets everywhere. So to reduce that, we're going to be using an X-Acto knife and cutting it from the back. Because when you cut through with scissors, you're cutting through the back and also all these furs. So with this, you're just cutting through the back and reducing the amount of hairs that you're also cutting in half. So here we go. So I'm going to be following these lines that I drew. And with this, it can look a little bit unnatural at first because the hairs will cover up these very fake looking lines. But we're just going to use these so I can trace everything out. Now you'll still have a little bit of fur that'll come off, but it'll be way less than if you just cut it with a pair of scissors. And there we go, it already is looking a little more weathered. So with the brown fur, there's no real way of weathering it using the wire brush or the sandpaper. So it's strictly going to rely on paints and the torch. So since this is brown, we're going to be using black paint and a little bit different of a technique from what we used on the cotton and flannel. So the brush has lots of paint on it. Now I'm going to take this and kind of dab it into the fur like such. Just kind of make sure there's a lot of paint in there because I have gloves on because I'm going to be then matting this up and using the paint as kind of a, a glue. So it's all nice and painty. Now I'm just going to get in there, knead the paint in there, kind of maybe brush it back out a little bit. You can, if you want to, just take the whole thing and kind of dip it in the paint like that because the paint won't really show up a whole lot in this but it will be used as a kind of a glue to keep this nice and messy like gel and hair almost so now either using a torch or if you have one a heat gun you can heat this up and the heat from the heat gun or the torch will kind of melt the pieces of hair and bring them together to they look really gnarly. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to them. If you enjoyed this video, I do have others on my channel. You can check that out over here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.